But there are some that cause for major concerns. Mm. All of us to debate. Just because we need to address some of them. We have here items, Mr. Speaker, for example, the contingency votes. One billion Ghana cities contingency votes are the, to be used at the discretion of the minister responsible for finance. One billion. Well, whether it's gone or not, what is, that, what is before us is a billion. A billion, which is more than the entire parliament's budget. Yes! Parliament's budget is how much? It's 901, is it about a billion? Yes, of course. A billion. So, Mr. Speaker, at the discretion. First, I would have thought that the committee responsible for finance would have asked the ministry, in fact, it's the ministry, you have to first account for what we approved for you as contingency last year. How you use the money. How you use the money, the contingency, because expenditure returns must be accounted. And you should attach it to the statement so that we know the contingency votes that we approve for you, how you spend the money. Aside that, they have 11 billion Ghana cities for the payment of arrests, also sitting at the Ministry of Finance. Then, Mr. Speaker, if you look at uh, the report, they are saying that they are going to spend 150 million for the purposes of the rebuilding of La General Hospital. And it's also sitting at the Ministry of Finance. Minister of Finance, since when did you start building hospitals? Mr. Speaker, and I'm happy that the Committee of Finance have transferred, reallocated this money to the Ministry of Health. We need to commend the Ministry of the, the Committee of, of Finance, particularly the Chairman, for doing this, because it's, it's critical. It is critical. The Ministry of Finance cannot be the one performing the functions of the Ministry of Health. And Mr. Speaker, many more, many more. There's something we have here, General Government Services. 2.732 billion Ghana cities. And they are saying that these are estimates of expenditure that do not fall directly under any specific MDAs, as well as one of expenditures. This is, this is completion of ongoing health infrastructure under Agenda 111 program. So we have an Agenda 111 also sitting at the Ministry of Finance. What is the Ministry of Health doing? It should be Ministry of, Fi Ministry of Health. Then aside that, they are saying that Hyperion upgrade and enterprise licensing. What is Hyperion? I know of Hyperion, but I don't know what is enterprise licensing. What enterprise licenses are we talking about? Enterprise licensing. I know enterprise. So, Mr. So Speaker, uh, there is a lot more. Composite budget training for 261 MMDAs, upgrade of Oracle e-business suite, and supported infrastructure. The speaker, it goes on and on, and that is 2.7 billion Ghana cities. Clearly, it, it is only right that you give us a breakdown of all of this, so that if we were to get some breakdown, we'll be able to appreciate the issues. The speaker, Ghana case, Ghana case. 800 million Ghana cities to fund the growth agenda, including economic enclave projects. Mr. Speaker, this ministry has been implementing Ghana CARES for three years now. Three years, at least, since 2021, I think 2021. So since 2021, you've been implementing Ghana CARES. By now, you should know what to do. Reallocate this money to, Ghana, to the agencies that you are, uh, 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 they are going to perform this function. And guide them. I don't know what you gain, Minister of Finance, that you want to control everything. Are you the President? Are you the President of the Republic of Ghana? You can't control everything. Give some away. Let your colleague ministers do some of the work. You can't be in charge of everything. Are you Captain Planet? You can't do all of this. Give some and then you concentrate on macro fiscal. That is your core mandate, not expenditure management, macro fiscal. So that you know how to manage our debt, how to manage our, uh, what do you call the rest.